have to run a second line. So, hey, Tina, what kind of medication are you? I'm giving a small volume nebulizer treatment of levobuterol, which is Zopinex. It's a beta-2 adrogenic bronchodilator, and it's used for a short, it's a short-acting reliever. What are common side effects of Zopinex? Some of the common side effects are headache, dizziness, nervousness, and um, a sore throat. And what are some contraindications for Zopinex? The contraindications for Zopinex are pre-existing heart conditions and maybe patients that have a high level of thyroid hormone circulating. Okay. So what's a recommended age range for Zopinex? Zopinex can be used on children as young as six years old all the way to adults. It actually, hey, Carolyn, can you tell us about Dornay's Alpha? Oh, sure. So Dornay's Alpha is a mucoactive agent, and the brand name is called Pulmazyme. It's used for the clearance of purulent secretions in patients with cystic fibrosis. And how exactly does Dornay's Alpha work? It's a peptide mucolytic, so what that means is it reduces the viscosity and adhesivity of sputum. So how is it delivered? It comes in a 2.5 milligram ampule and you mix it with a 2.5 milliliter clear colorless solution and then you deliver it in a small volume nebulizer. And are there any side effects? Yes, possible side effects may include voice alteration, pharyngitis, laryngitis, rash, uh, chest pain, and conjunctivitis. Oh, thank you, thank Carolyn. You. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, you're welcome. Hi. You're working yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, hey, Lisa. Hi, oh, guys. How are you? Hi. I'm speaking of that. I was reading up on albuterol, and some of oh. the brand names are Provental and Ventolin. Okay. What kind oh, of what drug is it? it? Um, it's a short acting B2 agonist. Okay. What does it do? It reverses bronchospasm. What are the side effects? <laughs> it has, uh, can cause palpitations, tachycardia, tremors, wow. nausea, vomiting. Wow. Pretty uh, okay. kind of scary. Those yeah, it is. Effects. Wow. Okay, interesting. Very, Very good. Nice. All right, so you Thank guys, you we gotta get, we got to get going on ours then, okay? Right. All right. Cool. All right. Nice seeing you. Bye. Take Bye. care. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi guys, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good. So um, did you, um, have you been working on your um, assignment? I have, I've been kind of, I've been reading up on it. Okay, I've been so studying. what did you get again? I can't remember. Uh, Xylotin. Okay, so yeah, is, is that a corticosteroid? A corticosteroid? Well, Xylotin, also known as Zyflo, is a non-steroidal anti-asthmatic agent belonging to the class arachidonic 5-lipooxygenase inhibitors. Wow, sweet. <laughs> So, Christina, what's the medication used for? Well, it's used for chronic uh, asthma attacks to go ahead and help control the uh, the number of attacks okay. the patient has. So, how does it work, Christina? Well, this controller agent uh, inhibits a 5-low enzyme, and it also uh, catalyzes the formation of leukotrenes. Oh, so, nice. yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I think I'm ready for my final. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. See you guys later. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Arnell, what a coincidence. I know, I'm late for class. Hey, guys. Hey. So, um, what drug did you pick again? Oh, for Mortal. Uh, what's the brand name on that? Oh, it's uh, Performist and Ferdal. Oh. Yeah, okay. I was wondering, is that a reliever? No, it's a long acting bronchodilator. Oh, okay. And, hey, what formulations do they come in? Um, SVN and dry powder inhaler. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Hi. Bye, you guys. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay. So I'll be speaking about omalizumab, also known as Zolaire. These are for people that suffer from severe asthma. And the way it works is these type of people, when they inhale allergens such as pollen, uh, dust particles, or cat dandruff, um, the system releases immuno, um, immuno, hemoglobin E, also known as IgE. And when they release that, it attaches to the allergens and then it also releases infl inflammatory cells. And all of that gets attached and inflammatory cells bring histamine and it, it goes into your airways, making your airway swollen and a little more narrow. So that's bad for those type of people that suffer from severe asthma. Then uh, Zolair comes in and it attaches to the IgE first, so therefore it never attaches to the allergens and nothing happens. And therefore they're okay, always okay. This type of uh, medication is given subcutaneously with an injection, like one of these guys. However, us as an RT do not give that. The ones that give that are people like a doctor. Okay? So, that's pretty much it. Oh, I have a question. 
<laughs> yes. What are the contraindications? Uh, there are contraindications for people that suffers from uh, that they need a relief from acute um, uh, bronchospasm. Okay, and also if they have a status asthmatics. Mm, are there any side effects? Yes, there are side effects. Uh, the most common one is actually just uh, wheezing or chest tightness. In rare occasions, they one or two people out of a thousand get an anaphylaxis, which means kind of like a throat swelling or face swelling. Who can use this? Who can use Olair? Uh, any adult or children over 12 that suffers from severe asthma. Let me give you this injection. Go ahead and pat yourself up. Here's a nice cookie for you. She's over 12. And that's it for me. Here, watch me. What are you reading there? I'm reading about drug epitropium bromide. And what's that? It's a bronchodilator and the brand name is Atrovin. It is used to treat the symptom of asthma, COPD, allergies due to emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. Okay. What are the side effects? Dry mouth, dizziness, nausea, and difficulty in breathing. And how does that work? It relaxes muscle and dilates the airways. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we'll let you read. <laughs> yeah. Go. Oh, hey, Stephen. What are you reading? I'm reading about Monty Lucas, also known as Singular. It's a prophylaxis and a long-term use for asthma. Okay. Well, what are the side effects? Headaches, abdominal pain, and influenza. Okay. How is it administered? It's orally administered through tablet form. Oh, yeah. And uh, who can take it? Adults and children up to six months of age. Okay. Mm hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Go back to your reading. Thanks. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? How are, how are you? Good. You know, we were just talking about the drugs for our assignment. So, do you know what uh, metaproteranol is used for? Metaproteranol is a beta 2 adrenergic sympathomimetic short acting bronchodilator. Ah, does it have like a brand name? It's Alupent. Oh, Alupent. That's right. Okay. So, what makes it uh, a better maintenance therapy than the other catecholamines? Well, there's two things it's not inactivated by COMPT. Uh, so it has a longer duration of action than a lot of the other short-acting bronchodilators and it resists breakdown of enzymes in the GI tract and the liver, so it can be taken orally as well. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for that. No yeah, problem. A lot of good insight on that. Yeah. Thanks. thanks. Is this you? Do you find yourself having the same, in the same situation whenever you inhale, inhale allergens such as pollen? Maybe you should talk to your doctor about Sephirlocast. Sephirlocast is a leukotriene inhibitor. Leukotriene are chemicals that are released when you breathe in um, allergens such as pollen. These chemicals cause, inf cause swelling in your lungs and constriction of the muscles around your airways, making it more difficult for you to breathe and resulting in asthma. Talk, talk, to, your doctor about talk to your doctor about Sephirlocast today. Sephirlocast is used to treat patients with severe asthma and also the prevention of asthma attacks. Side effects may include stomach pain, diarrhea, headache, nausea, and even cold-like symptoms such as sore throat, stuffy nose. Please, if you're tired of these problems, talk to your doctor today about Sephirlocast. I talked to my doctor about Sephirlocast and I feel so much better. Whoa, what are you doing, man? Uh, playing with my drug QVAR, uh, beclomethazone, the propionate, trying to get the name right right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what is that used for? Uh, it's for, uh, to prevent or lessen, like, severity of asthma symptoms, uh, it's for, like, mild to persistent asthma. It's not a, it's a controller, it's not a, uh, uh it's onset, is not acute. So, oh, it's, so not, it's not a reliever. It's not a reliever. It's a uh, controller. Gotcha. And when, uh, what are what are some side effects of that? Uh, headache, nausea, like bronchospasms, any adverse reaction like that, and also like throat irritation. Oh, okay. And which drug did you choose? I ended up getting arfamidorol. Arfamidorol. Yeah. What's the what's the generic name for that? Uh, it's actually known as Brovana, mm -hmm. but I, I I know it as the Bro. Oh, That's how right. I remember it. So. And what did what did it do? Oh, well, it's a uh, long. It's a long-acting B2 agonist, mm. so just kind of like yours, mine is also a, a controller for uh, patients with COPD. Oh, okay. All right, man. All right. I'll see you. Oh, yeah, it was hard. What, what was the alpha? How did you even see it? What was that? Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. My stomach. 
back through it on the test, and I was trying to figure that out. Yeah. Hi, guys. Oh, hey. You guys have a question about Theophily? Yes. yes. What? Oh. What is it? Oh, how does Theophylline, you know, um, how does it act as a bronchodilator? Well, Theophylline is a xanthine derivative, so what it does, it helps to relax the muscle in the lungs, which helps to widen it, so that makes breathing easier. And then it also helps improve the contraction of the diaphragm, and it also decreases the lung response to irritants. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. So, what effects does the Theophylline have? Well, it's a... Uh, it's a cardiac muscle stimulator. It's also a central nervous stimulator. There's diuresis, and it helps to relax the bronchial, uterine, and vascular spoon muscles. So then what's the side effects? Side effects, it may be like caffeine-like symptoms. So you might get, you know, have trouble sleeping. Um, you might have, oh crap. <laughs> That explains why I, I get I can't sleep at night. It explains yeah, exactly. why I sweat. Every so you time have I'm drinking one of these. You have tachycardia yeah. and you have muscle tremors. But she's she still wants it. I know. Wow. So why didn't you tell us this before? I thought you guys had studied. You know I'm the Theophylline Pro. You are. Thanks for telling us now. You're hey. welcome. Thank we'll you. know for the final. Okay, All right. great. Thank you. Hey, you Oh hey. How are you doing? Oh, this is a teotropium bromide. It's also called Spiriva. What is Spiriva? Well, Spiriva is a bronchial dilator. It relaxes the muscle in the airways and it increases the the air um, the airflow to your lungs. Oh. oh, so like when using it, what should you avoid when you're using it? Well, since this is a DPI, it's a dry powder and it can get into your eyes. You try to avoid that. And if you do get that in your eyes, rinse it off because it kind of create a blur of vision for you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what are some possible side effects of it then? Well, the common side effect that you would get is like common uh, cold flu type, running nose, stuffy nose, you can get dry mouth, um, constipation, uh, nausea. <laughs> is it preventative? I mean, does it help you regularly if you use it all the time? Or, is it, or do you use it if you like have an asthma attack? Um, it's a preventive. It's a bronchial dilator, so it doesn't like stop you when you're having it an asthma attack. You're just trying to prevent it from happening. So it's more like maintenance. You kind maintenance, of just do it every yeah. so often to keep it down. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, good to know. We'll see you right. later in class. Okay, see All right. You. Bye. Bye. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah? Okay. Today I'm gonna give you some matter. All right. It's a long-acting agent. It takes a few hours until you hit. Yeah. The peak time, which is the effect of the drug, all right, and the way you're gonna take it, it's through a DPI. So is that medication? Yes, it's medication. I don't want to drink anything. Oh, you don't have to drink it. You, all you have to do is inhale, all right. Okay. So what you're gonna do is just normal routine. Pull the lever down. Exhale first, then inhale. Okay. All right. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Go for it. Hey, good, good. All right. I'll see you in a few hours, all right? It tastes nice. Yeah, but I'm going to have you do is just rinse. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, Steven, what's wrong? I can't stop shaking my hands, Mom. Let me call your Arthur. Hey, how can I help you guys? He's not feeling well. He's shaking. Oh, he's shaking? Uh -huh. Are you feeling... Like, you have a headache, you feel nauseous? A little headache. bit, yeah. Yeah? Okay, those are normal side effects from the drug I gave you earlier, Cerebin. So you don't have nothing to worry about. They should subside over time. And if they, do, if they don't and you feel worse, just contact your nurse. All right? I think I... Hey, Nori. Hey, come over here. Do you know anything about pentamidine? I do actually. Pentamidine is an aerosolized drug and it's used for people who have uh, immune deficiencies such as HIV and it's also used for people that have tuberculosis. So basically it's used to treat pneumocytis pneumonia um, which people who have HIV with the immune uh, deficiencies, uh, they get this. So basically there's P. carnia and P. genera which is a fungus and so basically you treat this with that, uh, with that drug. Okay. So it's a basically it's a prevention for uh, having this, these issues. Okay. Well, is there any side effects to it? Uh, there's coughing, bronchospasms, wheezing. Okay. So. Any precautions? Uh, you need to use a one-way valve, and one -way if valve. they take their mouth off of it, then you need to uh, stop the treatment. Mm. Oh, okay.
what's your question? How's the prevention? <laughs> oh, prevention. Uh, so you don't have any coughing or issues. You're going to use a, a Bionagic bronchodilator. Okay. 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 All right. Thank Sounds you. Good. All right. Know a bit. Thank you. I'm going to be um, giving you um, Perbuterol, which is also known as Max Auto Inhaler. Okay. And uh, it's a short acting um, bronchodilator. And so um, we'll be doing this. It's, you know, very, pretty much very easy to do because you're actually, once you put your mouth around here and you you're going to activate it yourself. But before we get started, does any family member have any questions at all? Yes, I do. What does this medication do? Well, what this medication does is it, what it does is it helps, you know, um, relax and open up the airways uh, down into your lungs to kind of help you breathe better. Oh, what is it used for? And so what it is, it's used to help treat and prevent, you know, wheezing, shortness of breath, cough, um, chest tightness, uh, which is, you know, usually brought on by asthma. And what are the side effects? Well, some of the side effects that he could experience is he could probably, you know, maybe get a headache. He could be getting, you know, experiencing some dizziness, um, maybe dry mouth, and also he could get an upset stomach. All right? Does that seem good? All right, so what we'll do is, um, like I said, we'll go ahead and get started. And um, you'll go ahead and I'll just get that ready for you, and you'll put that on your mouth. And so we're good. Okay. I know. Don't break character. Blocks the effect of collagenic. It relaxes smooth. Uh, Sorry. Hey. I'm nervous. Camera. I'll take your hair. Right. I think I need a puke. You need a puke. Put your emesis first. Mm. Toughest for severe asthma. When they inhale. Um, They're watching. What's up, Victoria? Oh my, hello. Hi. Hi. You're supposed to ask me what I'm gonna do. Uh, all right. And uh, right, come out. What the? Fuck? Did I talk about it like what's the offline? Wasn't that on the test? What is that all about? You know? And I'm like, hey guys. You have a Didn't see a weedy. Oh, okay. So like, what does it do? It's not part of the. Thing. Oh, we said, what does it do? <laughs> Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Well, oh, you're welcome. Off to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't fucking invite me to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> what am I asking again? Okay, okay, it's open. What do I ask? Okay. What's the brand name? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to stand here. Okay, come on. Where did you go? Can you just cut that? Okay, Brian. Hey, Brian, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. 